following developments in Brooklyn where there's a rally happening right now to keep open a hospital that is set to close. The rally began late last night. It's been going on strong for the last several hours. And Eyewitness News reporter Tim Fleischer is live in bed and has the very latest for us. Good morning to you, Tim. Good morning, Ken. And I can tell you, at this hour, that protest is still going strong. Let me step out of the way here so you can see it. It is being led by uh, the Reverend Herb Daughtry and other community activists, also some workers from Interfaith Medical Center. Again, their message is they are trying to keep this hospital open if they possibly can. This protest has been going on since about 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon. They're hoping to present a new plan to the bankruptcy court in an effort to try to keep this hospital open. They believe it's a vital necessity to central Brooklyn that uh, if it were to close that uh, patients, outpatients as well, would also have to travel a number of miles to get to uh, other hospitals. Hospital officials on the other hand, they say they're losing a million and a half dollars a month. They plan on closing the doors for good in October. but. The, uh, the governor has also said that he does not willing or is not willing to support failing hospitals, so he does not want any more money to be put into that. But here is what community activists believe should be done. We know that if this hospital closed, the amount of people that comes here, right, it will be devastating for central Brooklyn, for this community especially, and we feel that we feel that if they close it, it's like putting a death sentence on this community. Back live now, you can see these protesters are in full form at this point. They've been here, as I say, since 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon. They vow to stay here until at least 6 o'clock this morning in hopes of getting this message out that they want to save Interfaith Medical Center. Reporting live in Bedford-Stuyvesant, Tim Fleischer, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.